by, um, by the sea. There came unto him a centurion. Now, a centurion, in this case, a Gentile. Gentile. And remember, the Jews ostracized Gentiles. They were not a part of the Abrahamic covenant, they not a part of the plan, and so forth. And he, a centurion, then, that he was captain. Uh, what you would call an officer yes. of the army of Rome yes. and he had under his command 100 soldiers and he was that man a centurion not an ordinary a person who is accustomed to give orders yes. and to say and he came to Jesus. Yes. Beseeching yes. him. Wow. And we need to check out all the facts here today. Yes. I'm talking to all of us. He came beseeching him. Why? Because this that I am asking for is not a right, is not an entitlement, yes. it's a favor that I am seeking. Yes. What is unique about this favor is that he was not seeking it for himself. He had a servant yes. and must be the very good person that the boss heard about Jesus knowing and to listen to all all of us have been saying all the obstacles that he had to face number one he was a centurion a gentile the patient was not able to come with him because patient and, and palsy and palsy as far as in life right is something that is a paralysis which make them incapable of moving around something like a stroke all right that paralyzed the body. And he said, in addition to the paralysis, he was grievously tormented. Yes. To the point where his boss was moved. Hopsicle, I'm a Gentile. Hopsicle is surrounded by a crowd made in Jews. Yes. The patient is not able to come with me. And he does not know the patient. He had to take me by my word. The patient didn't have to the fuck. Because this patient, being a servant, is in no capacity to send the boss on a mission like this. It is the boss that had compassion. And he was seeking compassion. For this person. Yes. Are we here? Yes. Are we seeing our position and our capacity? Yes. How you can intercede for somebody if we know they know him for asking you to put something within you. Move. Glory. Amen. The Lord knew all of this. Yes. I want us to pay more attention. And he said, Lord, no, and the study carefully is the first time that somebody, or was it in the upper one too, where he was addressed as Lord. Yes. And he said, Lord, my servant, 
light look up this position that can sit up all right light and more yes. and i want us to pay attention to details yes because he told you the relationship so you want light his position where he was at home good lord sick on the palace grievously tormented Jesus did not hesitate the man having crossed these obstacles and I can tell you obstacles not easy to cross but they can become stepping stones Somebody will come over there, you walk on them, huh? you go around them, but they are placed there to hinder you, turn you off, turn you off. Some people fierce. They have that fierce to turn on anyone. You ask a question, and you say, you stand in a good morning. And to get an answer in like a favor, you have to cross obstacles. Christian people, some of them will tell you the term that you do say, we don't watch your face. When God said you out and you're motivated as a child of God, no face, no position, no position. Move with the spirit of Almighty God. Anyway, let me come to Yes. And Jesus said, I will come and heal him. So we know it's a meal. I will come and heal him. Here I know the officer. So John said, Lord, every time we speak him, say, Lord. Yes. You see that? Yes, he has Very manly addressed him. Yes. And he said, he said to him, Lord, I am not worthy. Look at it now. I know I was in children, well respected in the army, but I passed. People salute. I don't want this. But when it comes to the Lord, he said, I am not worthy. Okay? That thou shall come under my roof. Yes. I am a brother. Yes. I think he would have invited the brigadier general. He would have invited the minister. Yes. But when he saw Jesus yes. come in Lord, he said, I am not worthy yes. for you to come in under my roof. Oh Lord Jesus. But speak. Look at the watch. But speak the word. Jesus. Speak the word. And my servant shall be healed. In other words, in your intent, when I cover you, Lord. I know who you are. I know you are God in Christ. I know that you that spoke the world in existence. I know whatever you speak come to pass. I know that you are 
is done. So when, when they move, they move under my authority. So though they, they, they walk over there, they are going to, they don't see me. But you are my agent. You carry the authority. I am only a man. You know, if you speak the word, my servant, my sick servant, my, my sick, we are in trouble. When we write, to be decided to writing, everything we do, compare me with my sister. People tell you, they tell the children, how oh, they hear steam, how they steam, high twice, and every adjective. We don't want that. Some people, not everybody. So, not everybody. Some people have encouraging words. You love the words. And sometimes when they go to school, they hear the same thing. Until they start to act like what they hear. And when somebody disagrees with you and another student and they curse out, they hear the same thing. That's why your mother said. And that's why I know. You pull them, that pull you. And even when you get sick of you, and come to Jesus, you are walking under the shadow of what people say the other day. You are dead, you know, I'm a dead, you know, I'm a dead. They come to the boy and they wear the black. They come to kill me. You are dead. And all the way, you, 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 the next sentence is no longer here. We have it in our mind. What people think. You look in the mirror and I know you see what you see. But what they say is influencing the mind that we start to act. Like what they said. But there is somebody praying, somebody's concerned. One man, I don't know where the servant wife was, and he had children who we hung to have and and all everybody here. But one person was willing to go to the Lord and give me help. And that made all the difference. And after that, he explained to him his position, and he can take this job. He said, Lord, nothing is about you. Nothing that he took is impossible for you. One day I went to preach here again. Get a part of it. Okay? That when sometimes we pray and declare, if you declare, you don't have to pray. Because when you declare you have issued a command, you check up our purity and you speak the word. You get out of self. You put your mind under subjection. And the Holy Ghost take a hold. And you say, be healed. And you say, be out of the way. And you say, please. Hallelujah. My God, no one of them will eat you and eat me. It's not a good idea to go to the For the Christ in you, yes, the very time you come here, the, 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 the sick and the people 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 and the the king is something you're doing and something you're working. Not king but the whole world and the inside. Lord Jesus, hear me, my brother. The centurion said his peace. Jesus heard when he heard, he 
Iman. Yes. And I don't know how much you knew of Iman. It must be a facial expression. Yes. The look on his face. Okay? But that is something that you know, hard to receive. It is do I just I tell you how I feel, but leave it alone. But Iman and said unto them that followed him he was a crow and he, he must have said you heard what he said because he was surrounded by people that only see some people as people and the rest of them are not people you didn't choose your mother. They didn't choose your mother, not your mother. But yet still, they put you in a, put them in a class yeah. by themselves. Yeah. So Jesus spoke to them and said to them, Verily, or truly I say unto you, I am not found so great faith. No. No, not the issue. What a faith. He said, look at this here, right? I say, and I want you to look at the authority. Yes. I say, not somebody tell me to tell you. No. Not giving you a message no. from somebody. No. Oh my God. Yes. But I say unto you. That many shall come from the east and from the west. And I went to speak that way of the east and the west in their, in their king that come past the whole country. Because if the, the ship of the island was similar to that of Jamaica. It is west. So if I said he is to west, he take, take in everything. Right? He said, will come from all. Right? And uh, and shall sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. So people yes. shall come. Yes. All kinds of people. Yes, people. People like him. People like that bitch. People like that sheep. Weeping 
And, and that mean that idiom mean suffering how of a pain. That's what it means. Weeping and gnashing of teeth meaning that they get torment. And there is agony and there is all kind of things. You mean the Lord was talking about the spirit? No. Was he talking about something that was unreal? No. That he was just using analogies and no. he was just, you know, uh, uh, interrelating that? No. 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 Then Jesus said to this angel, Jesus said, turn his attention to all the centuries and said, Go that way. Where is it? As the Lord's name. And you know, said, Carry this handkerchief. Carry this on my body. And you know, said, Is that calling to see it? Whatever you have said before the same, what you have was speaking about that in that 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 man, you go away. Yes. Go away. Yes. And if not turn around and look it for something to carry and if not hesitate because the same gentleman to whom he was speaking and asking him, say you are to you go home or you go. Every king is according to the man. Send your real son in there, in there, or your real son is alive, you will find when you go home. Where is your beard? Where is your beard? You listen to the quote from lady, woman. You listen to the quote from man. You listen to everything. You listen to Iron School. You listen to no, Iron School. Can I read? Please don't know. Because when a man did Christ, he is a new creature. But I'm not a Galerius. Because Jesus changed what is here. I'm holy and heavy Galerius. I have a friend. My destiny is changed. I don't see it for your holy glory, but God Almighty has transformed my mind. He has transformed my thoughts. What the one will you can do? You don't have any certificate done, but you have a celebration. You can do economics. You know how you will know be. I am saying I'm saved. I'm being tired of something leave. And the person will get what are you? Are you going to Looking alone. Yes, sir. And become my friend of the chick. If you want to buy me with some of your car, if you leave, if somebody said, hey, you lift me up, eat hell on me. That's a bitch. I'm so bad. No, I'm sorry, sir. I'll make you a damage. We have brought me feet on iron ground. I'm a shitty guy. Yes. My past, looking at the obstacle, how may I cross your Jesus, how may I mind I just thought that it's a thing I'm saying all the while. And one day my wife stopped me. I should never stop with me, you never stop it. When things go wrong, I said, Poor oh, Roy. Poor oh, Roy. She said, Very far, stop it. Your car is choking when I said, Get out of that. Change it. Change it. Find something to say. Speak positive. And I start to preach uh, to myself and speak positive facts. I close by saying you are an authorized person. Yeah. Speak to yourself. Mm-hmm. Only sometimes when you are saying the Lord bless you, I say, say the Lord bless me. 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 Lord, look behind that I may see. Lord, be the one of me. Lord, me. Me, 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 me. me. And I do know this and that might look like that. But I come to church without watching the sky. We come to church. Are you there? There are your promises, Lord. I make a car. I come to church. He's a bicycle. You can't. 
heart of gold. Look at this man. And he is wonderful you. And he is wonderful me. No matter how they talk and how they act, but they have a heart of gold for you. Who could tell that she servant that your boss would have done this for you? Not his wife, not his son. It's a servant. And he would have gone beyond the call. And God God you to so get assistance. I said to you today, think on these things. Just speak the word. Speak the word. And there are some things that you and I need to speak the word. Need to speak the word. The positive word. The word of encouragement. You know, there are some persons, and the Bible mentioned it, all we do is to encourage. They don't have the money, they don't have the at all, they don't have experience, but they are encouragers. No matter what happens, they have a good word. No mind, no mind, no mind. No mind. Hush. No mind. Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. They have a kind, well, what happening? They have a kind word. And so let us say, come, yeah, it's not to prime your business. It's just an encourager. You know, I bless you today. And when you are praying, you might not be a preacher or a singer, but say, Lord, make me be an encourager. Or make me be like a centurion. That I can see help for somebody who can't help himself. Somebody who remarks me. I will see them out and assist them. The Lord bless you today in His own name. Amen.
and everything has failed. But today, the words have gone forth that if we can stand in our apostolic authority, you see, we have got an access that many times we fail to use. You know, and I, as I sat here and was listening, I said many times, you know, I find myself, I don't have any money, but I have an ATM card or I have a credit card. That means that I have access. But I sit back and I refuse to use the access that I have. And I sit there and I don't have any money, I don't have any money, I need to do this and I need to do that. But it's not going to get done until when I begin to use the access that I have. And the access that you have. Bless the Lord Jesus. And so today, we have got access. If we have come to the end of today's worship, and those that are at home today, you might hear these words and you might be having your situation. And you don't know what to do. But we are introducing you to a God that is the God of all gods. He's the doctor of all doctors. He's the master physician. Bless the Lord Jesus. And so today, you can get a change to your situation. And now, saints of God, the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, the Lord make your face to shine upon you and, and be gracious unto you. Lord, lift up the light of your covenant upon you and give me your peace. In Jesus' name.